Hey everyone, it's Amy with Pretty Presets and I'm going to do a short video for you showing you how to uh, take care of something like this on the lip uh, with the clone and heal tool. So um, let's get working on that. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to use the clone tool to take care of this part right here on the skin. Um, anytime we're using the clone or heel, all I'm doing is I'm left clicking on the mouse and you keep your finger pressed down on it. So like for this, um, for this area right here, I've got the part of this, the, see the red that's right here on the skin, not on the lip, but on the skin. I'm going to cover over that with, um, with the clone spot and then I'm going to left click on it. So I've just left click and it's showing that that spot right there is uh, the best spot to take that from. I'm going to just kind of um, move this down just a little bit so that that spot doesn't go up into the lip. And so that's fine. Um, that looks good. The coloring or the, the light for that spot is, is pretty much similar to the skin around it. So that's all I need to do for that. Um, so now what I'm going to work on is I'm going to work on this part right here, which is the tricky part because, um, every picture that this little guy is in is going to have this right here. So we want it to be as simple as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the healing tool. Uh, we're going to, so we're going to click on this again. Once we're all done with all of this, um, you know, if you could, you know, there's, there's a little bit of a line around this. I'm not too worried about it because once we're done with everything, we'll do a little bit of skin smoothing right here and we'll do some lip smoothing as well. So um, I'm not I'm not too worried that this wasn't like perfectly blended. It doesn't really matter right now. So we're going to um, work on this part right here. We're going to use the, um, let's try the the cloning first and see. Um, what that does because there's only so much of an area. See, obviously the skin is not one of those areas that is going to cover that spot. So we need an area from the lip that's going to heal that. So let's try that there. And move that up just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that's looking better. And so what we're going to do next, so if you could see what I was doing, I was just clicking. I was holding down on the mouse. I was uh, holding down the left. Um, I was left clicking on the mouse the whole time, holding it down and moving this. So this is your sample right here. And then this is the spot that we needed to fill. And so once you've selected your spot, then you can take where you're covering it up and you can actually move that as well to make sure that you're covering up exactly where it needs to be. The reason that I moved it was because see how there's this white line on her lip right here. So I wanted this to be able to line up with that. So that way it would be this nice cohesive, line so that you'll never you'll never be able to tell that um, that we that we did any of this so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to kinda work on this right here again we're gonna have to move that because it's not part of her hair um, and I might actually might need to use the clone tool for that instead because of the angle that the lip is. And so if I want to delete that, see that pin how it's black right there? You just right click on that and then hit delete. So I am going to, I'm going to move this down for a minute. I'm going to move it back up. I'm 
curious. Okay, we'll leave that there. Let's do the the healing tool instead. And put that right there. Let's see if we move, oh, if we move that just a little bit, actually that will, that will work just a little bit because we're going to move it. Now let's, we still want to keep that white line there. Back on clone. So I want to take a little bit of this. And we'll do that. And we've got our, our lip guy here. Okay, now we're going to close it. Now remember what I said, it's okay if it doesn't all look like perfectly smooth right there because now we're going to smooth it. Okay, so we're going to flip smooth first. So just go over the lips right here. And then click on new because we're going to select a new brush. And we're going to do the skin smooth. And we're going to do that all along here. And we're going to go all the way down. Just that. Actually, you know what, because we're doing that there, I would just take the Skin Smooth brush and just boop, run it all along, just because there is a little bit of noise. So, we just do that, and... This is our before and after. So this is before and this is after. I don't think that anyone is going to pick this apart knowing what this looked like here. That's so much better, right? So it won't take you very long once you kind of figure out how to use it, okay? so. Just what we did was we used the cloning tool first to do the skin part down here. And then we used the heel tool. No, we did the cloning tool again to do this part up here. Okay. And then we used the heel tool, I believe, to do there was another little patch that we had to do down here. Okay. So you just kind of have to go back and forth and figure out what looks best and just make sure this, that um, I'm just going to show you something real quick. Just make sure that if you're trying to, um, you know, fix something that is, you know, like a, the lip that, you know, at this angle, then you need to, you need to clone at that angle. You can't wipe at that angle trying to fix something at that angle. So you need to, um, you need to make sure of that. So, uh, that's really all that there is to it. Um, cloning and healing isn't that hard to do in Lightroom. It, it just takes you a little while to, um, 
to get used to it, especially if you're coming from Photoshop. I've been trying to learn how to clone in Photoshop and I just, I'm not getting the hang of it at all because I'm so used to doing it in Lightroom. So it's not hard to do, just be patient with it and remember that a lot of times you just have to do it in small amounts. You, you just have to get that brush small enough. But like you could see, we only had to do it in like, I think it was like three segments that we had to do here. So that's really not that hard at all. So. Um, anyways, I hope this helps you guys and, um, hope you go out and create something pretty. Have a fabulous day.